welcome back to Scream Queen Stream. You probably know me, I'm Jessica Cameron, and today I have some very, very special people with me. You guys probably know them from Gigi Saul Guerrero's Instagram <laughs> stories, if you're liking me. And if you're not following Gigi, can I just take a moment to tell you, you absolutely should be. Her movie Culture Shock by Blumhouse and Hulu was released on July 4th, and it's definitely in the must watch. And she's one of the greatest, kindest, nicest, sweetest, most intelligent, passionate, driven women I've ever met. And I am a very firm believer, not all the time, but a lot of the time, people like that are created by their families. And that's going to bring me who we are sitting with today. We have Judy Salguerrero's family. Yes. <laughs> so we've got the dad, the mom, and the grandma. So if you want to introduce yourselves to the <laughs> well, Thank you. The grandma, we call her Bibis. 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 Yeah. Well, I'm Romy. I call it Gigi's mom. And I am Fabian. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. I'm so honored to have you here. Thank you. So, and Gigi for me is like a force of nature. So I really want to take a moment and just sort of pick your brains because quite frankly, I think you've raised one of the greatest people I've ever met in my life. And I think that that is a tribute to her, but also to you. Thanks. Thanks so. for that. You say so many nice things. Thank you. Very, I mean very... each and every one of them. She's wonderful. Uh, and we need more really beautiful people in the world, especially oh. LA. So I know you're Canadian <laughs> and we love that. But don't mind as we borrow her because we need that in Los Angeles. <laughs> well, we, we're originally Mexican, but we crossed the, the river, we crossed the border, and we kept going. We didn't know how far. <laughs> I, hope we, sudden, I hope we, we were in Canada. <laughs> I hope it wasn't as traumatic as in culture shock. Yeah, and no. Of course not. No. <laughs> no. Grandma's here. We, we just push her. No, oh, Grandma. Yeah. So, I wanted to get into, when Gigi was little, did you guys realize that there was something really special and unique about her? Did you think she would be a performer? Because, quite frankly, she strikes me as somebody who I suspect, from a young age, you were like, that child is an actor. <laughs> Yeah, well, she was really special in the way that she was very hair since the beginning, and she always knew what she really Very wants. strong personality. Very strong, yeah. yes. And uh, even when she was so little and she started to know about movies, we need a ticket and reservation to go <laughs> into the room, you know, we cannot go there. And, and she would be there. busy at age yeah. of four if she was watching a movie. Yeah. She would be like, like, don't disturb. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, I'm watching the movie. You have to pay attention. You need to say, don't talk. We need to watch it. And we never can do any comments because we have to watch it. But she was very special always with that. Yeah. So. so I understand for a time she wanted to be an Olympic athlete. Oh, yeah. That was a bit uh, older, maybe when she was uh, 12, 11 around that and she loved to do exer exercises and even she always was asking to she was going out in the car and she was asked okay let's go do it and she was on one side of the, the road and we were in the other one at the same time one two three and then and we, we were driving and she, she started to do her speed and trying to be before the car so she was always because that's what she wants to do and but she was supposed to, it sounds like she was always competitive. Oh, yeah. Yes. She participated in some marathons. Oh, yeah. Triathlons, like, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. Swimming all the time, you know. And she was good in tennis, though. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, did you guys ever have a desire to sort of nudge her in one direction? Or were oh, you just no, of the no. mindset that you're going to do whatever you're going to do and we're going to support whatever that was, you like? That has been always our motto in our family to our two daughters, uh, do what you love and you will not have to worry about money. You will never have to work. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be happy every day, so that, that's the, the important part. So luckily for us, our two daughters, since they were little, they show what they really love and what they really want to do. So we just try to support that 
it, it's a talent or I don't know how to call it, but support that and then just try to guide them and see if they really want to do that. You know? So that's where we you, were. You know, trying. at the age of four, Gigi was, uh, like I said, uh, she loved to watch movies. I think the best toy that we gave her oh. was a, uh, a TV, if you may remember, uh, including the the VHS, the, 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 the what's the name? Video. The, uh, like a, yeah, a, the VHS, uh, a VCR. Uh, a VCR. <laughs> yeah, in that know? area. In that area. <laughs> All integrated in the same screen. Uh, uh, she was so happy. With that. She was, there was the best uh, ever. And she would pause and rewind. But we're talking, she was four uh, <laughs> years like of really, age. Really young. You know what she did at that time? She came to us and said, uh, um, Bambi is not a good movie. It has mistakes. <laughs> at age of four, <laughs> she had an eye for continuity. And she brought us to the to the room. I said, you have to be very, very uh, 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 patient. And, and she would be already be ready to show us, look, the tree is here. I rewind, and the tree is not there. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. And then we said, did you see, did you see that? And we were, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the normal person that just go and see the movie, we are not looking for those details, yeah. right? So, well, also, I think like, so, many nice. people, like, so many people don't have that eye yeah. you know, to catch it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So she was really good with that. And then, uh, then she decided she wants to learn how to do uh, uh, the cartoon animator, so she was doing a lot of drawing all the time, so she learned how to do a little that movie was with that in the old eight. So uh, She asked us to, to go and learn cartoon mm -hmm. and uh, animation by like, like old school. Mm -hmm. And the teacher said, how old are you? Eight? You don't have the math yeah, knowledge I to do that. this yet, but I'm going to take you. <laughs> and uh, whoa, boy, she was good. She was yeah. very, very good. That's so awesome. she loves it. Oh, well, I know. Support that, right? It's like parents, when you see something like that in your kids, then for us, the best uh, thing to do is just support that and try to understand it that it's real. It's just, just a, a moment. So we, we just. That is that she really was uh, passionate with that. So that's what we're trying to always find the right way or the right thing to learn about that. And figure it out if that was real or not, no? <laughs> and works. <laughs> I think it works. It, 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 it worked in Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, was Gigi a good student? Yeah, she was a good <laughs> student. Yeah, and even uh, she was really fast. And she learned very fast, and then uh, always she was putting the music. And she was with her music and learning everything. And even for us, was said, just turn down the music, and then you can concentrate and do that. No, no, no. I know. And boom, she was so good and uh, doing well at school. And uh, no, yes. she was always very good. So, were you surprised when she wanted to get into acting? Oh, no, no, no. It came all together. Uh, there's uh, maybe at the age of 12, she wanted to have a, um, a, some summer courses about uh, filming. There was something in, in the White Rock City where we lived that she took, and then she was already uh, asking to have an agent and she was doing commercials. So it, it all started very uh, quickly with her. I would assume that's just kind of how she is though. She's like, I'm going to do this and then she does it. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. There's not a lot of like transition. <laughs> yeah. Like, Here's what I want, allow me to go through with it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, well, we thought that when she was little, we thought that she was going to be a comedian. <laughs> because yes. Yes. she is way and If you refer that to acting kind of stuff, Yes, you always was trying to to take out that personality, you know, from her, but it was just funny and 
for us, we never thought it could be part of what she was just uh, feeling, you know, about her life. So we were never surprised was, that she went to the film school. Mm -hmm. uh, we were surprised about her first movies. Right away into <laughs> horror. That, yes. that was a surprise. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah because uh, um, she's so uh, nice and sweet, then, you know, and then <laughs> we never thought that we could be like horror. And uh, when she said, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the, the, the director of the, the movie stuff, I said, oh, okay, that's cool. But then she said, and I know I'm going to start to do the horror. And she, she always said that was my fault because I love to watch all the surgery and things on TV. And I, I really, it, it's interesting. But she said, yeah, it's because you showed me <laughs> how much blood can be okay. So I said, okay, well, I don't know, that was really my fault. <laughs> but when she started to do that, we were like, oh my God, what are you going to do? Are you because <laughs> she just pushed the blood everywhere and suddenly I said, hey Jackie, hey mommy, it's so sweet. And we said, okay, maybe she's kind of weird this <laughs> this day, but I don't But then we, we learned how to appreciate to appreciate the whole horror gender. Right? Yeah. That, that was they work so nice much on the uh, special effects, physical special mm -hmm. effects. That, um, that that was really something that we had to give great value, uh, appreciate the work because it was not easy. Yeah. Well, her and her team are really skilled at making sure that all the elements come together seamlessly. It's one of my favorite parts of Lucha Gore is that there's no weak aspect when you're watching a Lucha Gore film. Mm -hmm. Like everything that is in, like they're not gonna do a movie or a script unless they can do it 110%. And I don't know if you're that familiar with independent horror, but there's not that many production companies that I can say that about. A lot of the time people will push through something that they're like, eh, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll be okay. Um, so there's a lot of companies like again, where like the acting's not the greatest, or maybe the script hasn't been polished, or the effects aren't that strong. One of the things I love about Lucha Girl Productions is that everything's going to be super professional and extraordinarily well done, or else I don't think they'll go to camera with it until it's ready and until it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, with Gigi, it's always the case, but she's always been like that. It's about everything has to be 110% perfection in every little detail or or she's not part of it. We often hear, if it's not like that, then I'm gonna take my name off that. Yeah. It's just, it's just. Yeah, but she was like that always, and uh, tried to be always honest with everything that she was around her, and she, she, she was a, a little girl. So I think that is what she's doing now. She's very honest in the way that she presents stuff. The, to make that even horror move, it's just in moments that you can feel it, and then you can see, oh my God, no, and uh, but still it's horror, but you can be scared, you can be surprised, but still you have some something to touch, you know, in, in some, some ways. So I think that what she really do always is just trying to have a nice, uh, you know what. Finishing. Bueno, que yo recuerdo que cuando ella quería arreglar tu recámara, ¿no? y dice, abuelita, te invito para que vayamos a bailar un rato allá arriba escuchando buena música. Y, ¿no? y, y me pone buena música y empezamos las dos a bailar. Y muévete, abuelita, muévete. <risa> Pero me está doblando la ropa y me la pasta para que ya no entienda así todo su proceso. Yeah, my mom said this. Well, the moments that she can share with Gigi is always when she has time and she's at home. And of course, the pile of clothes is like this. And say, hey, Grandma, do you want to come and join me at the room? We can dance and we can do the night music. 
and in the time that they are dancing, then my mind is following everything. I said, oh, you see, ma'am, yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> so that's what my mom was saying. I said, well, those are good moments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she, she, she is here for the premiere. So oh, of course. She took the airplane, she said, I have to be there, so that's why she did the same moment and shared these uh, special moments now. I'm so, I was so excited. I didn't know how much of your family would be able to make it. I think it's so great that you are all able to, and so loving and supportive, and it's just such a wonderful, beautiful thing. Yeah, we tried to do it. Thank you. But we tried to do that for our two daughters. And, uh, Every time, so they have something where we're there. So that's that's so, so wonderful. And let's also, I don't want to <laughs> not mention, Gigi's got a beautiful, talented sister also. Oh, yeah. um, she is a talented singer. Yeah. Oppressing. Oppressing. See, yeah. Which is, in my opinion, one of the most challenging skills to ever yes. master. Like, I, I, oh, I can't even fathom how people make their voices do that. <laughs> and the level of perfection that they need to yeah, in order to be successful, you know, it's it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, that was another uh, thing that we noticed that she has the, the, the talent too, and we tried to support that. And uh, well, she was singing the same like since she was little, and everything. And she was asking for what's her mom, my dear mom, like that. So we were, I said, maybe she wants to sing. Both, <laughs> no, both girls a, are very sensi- sensitive, you say sensible? Yeah. sensitive? Uh, well, sensible is basically like logical, rational. Mm-hmm. Sensitive means that they're Not emotional. Really yeah, both, both are very sensitive. And uh, you know what Gigi does when, when she is, uh, <laughs> when she has, the product finished, she likes to sit on the other side looking at the audience and watching at their reactions. Reactions. <laughs> That's what she, she likes thinks. to see in a whole 10-15 uh, minutes of a short that they go laughing, they go crying, they go scared, <laughs> they go mad. <laughs> and, I, and she said it's because then I know if I just could uh, grab the feelings that I was just thinking of, you know, in, in the comments of the audience. So that's what she likes. And that's also probably why I think her films are so powerful and resonate so strongly with an audience, because of that connection. Mm-hmm. Now, you mentioned earlier that you guys are not genre fans. You were pretty new to the genre by your daughter's <laughs> involvement. Yeah. yeah but, exactly. but no, no, we, we are fans. We, well, we, we fans, like but, a normal uh, that you got to movie and see the silence of the lamb or <laughs> things like that, no? That you say, okay. Halloween. Know, Halloween or, <laughs> or The Exorcist, and I never sleep for 10 years after. So, <laughs> no, no, no. Things like that. They just said, okay. But, but for us, it was absolutely new to see the, our daughter. No. So, uh, but it's very, very nice. I, I really appreciate it now. And uh, I, not only Gigi's work, but other persons' work in, in that. Uh, style, so it's, it's it's nice to see and recognize the whole work and the whole mo- uh, uh, talent that they need to have to project the best. It's very nice. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I admire so much about Gigi is her work ethic. So I'm curious, what did you guys do to help encourage that? Was it something that she just automatically was born with? Like, I, I think it's. It, to me, it's such a wonderful asset in the entertainment industry to have that strong work ethic, but it's very also uncommon. <laughs> well, you know, it reflects uh, the family values, and uh, that is that is something that goes combined with uh, something that you were born with, but it's something that you nurture yeah. in your family. And uh, yes, she is very, very loyal, very professional. And she sticks to her guns uh, at all times. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Now, 
one of the things that fascinates me so much about her work, aside from the fact that it's really great quality and is so well done, is the fact that she really does do her best to incorporate Mexican culture. What are your thoughts on that? Obviously, I love it, but I am also very poorly versed in Mexican culture. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, what do you guys think about her incorporating that into the genre industry? Have you ever thought maybe she shouldn't in this format or have any concerns that people could have a negative connotation about uh, Mexican culture because it's a horror movie or is that just not a concern? No. We, we always have been passionate about our uh, culture in Mexico and uh, we always put that on the table for them. But it was surprising to me, I don't know if to you, that all of a sudden she was so much in love with her heritage and um, even though we try to teach them to uh, admire other cultures worldwide and uh, but Gigi has been always a, a, a fan of the Mexican culture in every way. Yeah. Well, I think it's an underrepresented voice in the genre and even in film. It's something that I'm not that familiar with and I it really struck me when I saw Culture Shock how little I know about it. Mm -hmm. And it was really obvious when I literally was like, oh my gosh. And I, I spoke with her at length about just you know all the research that she, research that she did and how accurate so much of that movie is and the fact that I could be so ignorant about a culture that's so close <laughs> to us <laughs> is shocking to me. Um, so I, I kind of, I really love the fact that she does go to her way to incorporate and that she's sort of like a new, young, fresh, modern voice advocating for that uh, and also not necessarily saying like, oh look, it's all roses and sunshine, but like this is you know, these are aspects, these are real aspects. This is what we're trying to fight against. There's like beauty and family. I love the family through line in Culture Shock also. Um, the lead character's art, I think is really, really, really beautiful and really wonderful. Uh, that to me was very symbolic of how she speaks about your relationship. And certainly like she uh, says that her family is one of the most important, not the most important thing to her. And I think it's so refreshing to see and hear that coming from a young female voice. Um, you know, she's such a uh, um, dedicated person uh, into knowing more about the Mexican culture that both our daughters, they even are invited to, to um, advise and to give uh, um, last touches to other movies about pronunciation, accent, and uh, the things that uh, define the Mexican culture uh, in a movie, and uh, both daughters are uh, good at, at, at that, for sure. It's important if you, if you, doesn't matter the, the, what uh, nationality you can be, it's the way that you feel it, right? The, for us, the roots are the roots. And then why not just to keep it and, and would, like, to be proud of you know? So be a good person, uh, be a, a, in, the, in this society, it doesn't matter what religion or you know, what nationality you have, you, know, you have to have it here. Right? So that's where we try to teach our girls and well, we're Mexicans and yeah, doesn't matter where we can live. But we have some, like you know, said, the values, and, and, and we we learn from tradition. I remember here, right? <laughs> so that's what you are learning and taught. So that's that, that's the thing. I think. I concur. Now she mentioned that in her earlier work that you guys were all very active participants in helping to make oh, it happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what are some of the jobs that you've done on some of Gigi's films? <laughs> and I'm assuming that's like, I'm assuming working on Gigi's earlier work was the first time you ever worked on an independent film. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We were losing uh, uh, our job positions as she progressed. <laughs> we uh, that in, in, in the first uh, <laughs> movies, we would do just everything <laughs> from lighting 
to <laughs> we were doing the whole thing. But just yeah, we were sometimes we were <laughs> acting for her, sometimes we were just the last uh, job that we never packing the lunches. The, <laughs> so uh, the, 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 la the, the last job that we uh, lost really is is uh, feeding. <laughs> the, whole and, and, and the, the whole crew. Yeah, we were the caring. I think uh, El Gigante that she did, that short, is the biggest uh, cast and crew that she ever had. It was like 60, 70 people uh, yeah. feeding <laughs> 70 people That's for sick. someone that does not know. <laughs> we, we were like, okay, <laughs> I can help. And, was and it was month. like um, yeah, five was days right. of, uh, or six days of uh, yeah, shooting. So. Yeah. So um, that was our last job, and after that one, <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that was funny because uh, in the beginning we were saying, okay, it's, this is the last time that we're gonna do this for you guys. Okay, Robin, okay, so yeah. And next, <laughs> next show, we are there again. So I said, oh, you see, the last time there was, it doesn't matter, it was in the middle of the forest and nowhere. We were just bringing the food and warm and everything for everybody. But then we were doing everything, acting. Even one time Fabian was a uh, fire because he didn't know how to die <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> was like, I was a character in the movie and she wanted me shot, dead, boom, fall. So when I did my falling... <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> she said, that is so bad, puppy. Do it again. And if like you can't do it, it, then you're fired. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she <exactly>. fired me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny. And, and it's, it's nice to, to be there always. And, and with all the kids that they were just going around Luchagor, they, they just start everything just because the passion and the, the, the uh, dressing and the, the makeup. The, the whole thing, no, and they just start with that passion, and to be part of all that, and now, now see them, a lot of them just being in Many the of big them have had the chance to it's so nice and flourish into so the uh, professional world. Uh, yeah, we great. still come to whenever they are on set. We still come and the, the odd job we still do. Like if someone is uh, feeling sick. We still go to the infirmary and <laughs> we try to be give there, some uh, pepto be small or whatever. <laughs> you cannot say Oh, no, no. Commercials. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but they, it's very nice to see how they, they're putting all this uh, professional life, you know, slowly, step by step. So be part of all that. Uh, it's, it's very nice and, and very... Uh, rewarding for us. Yeah, yeah, we're very proud of all those kids that uh, have uh, come together around Gigi and uh, helping each other and today we see them into the uh, professional world. Uh, we are very proud of each one of them, all of them. Have you seen this in I have not. I know, I'm dying to. When it screened in LA, um, I was unable to attend, so I didn't give you like this. Well, I haven't bothered her for it yet um, because I will before the screening. Um, I bothered her for culture shock because I wanted to make sure that we were able to get our film, uh, the review done, so that whenever the day is out, I can share it so that more people are talking about it rather than having to take a week organize when we're going to film the review. Then a couple days to edit, you know, because this is a passion for me, but it's not like I devote every day all day to editing Screen Queen Street. So I was like, hey, I don't need to be a bother, but can I get a copy of Culture Shop? Because that way I can time it so it's like ready on the 4th, as opposed to like on the 10th or 11th, which although is still helpful, it's not as impactful. Right? Well, like in Senera, it has a lot of future. Uh, yes. it, it has a weird form. Um, it has. It's a seven episodes, but very short, like mini series. Uh, I've never seen that. Like style web, she before. was saying, like web series, right? Like web series, short, 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 seven. And in those yeah. seven uh, episodes, uh, she develops a great story. You, I know that they bought it in Europe, 
and now they are proposing border products to send it to Netflix. And um, sure. but with a second season. Yeah. That's so, what you're saying, and like the images look so amazing. I just saw one last night when I was editing uh, Rainer's interview because I was like, "Can you go bring a lot of photos?" Um, and there was like an image of somebody with a gun to the back of what looks like a father's head as he's kissing his daughter yes, with the, yes, the tiara. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to make me cry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I literally can't handle this image right now. Uh, so no, I definitely cannot wait to see it. And I'll, like I said, whenever, it's, whenever we have some dates, I'll look her and be like, hey, let me have it. And yes, yes, we'll yes, yes. Because yeah, yeah, you're, you're going to love it. Oh, yeah. I, like, I love Vicia. I love El Gigante. Um, I, I love uh, the Day of the Dead one. No, I, I suck at pronouncing Spanish words. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like I wouldn't say the name Don't of the series. I, would, I was like, can you say it, Gigi, in your interview? Like, what's it? Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I'm just gonna screw it up. <laughs> it's quince, quince año. Quince There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> and even like, I'm like, if I mispronounce your last name, please don't hate me. And she's like, no, it's fine. I was like, understand. It's I'm trying. I'm just like, I'm as white as they come. And do you I understand the word quinceañera? What does it mean? Uh, isn't it, it's like a, a young girl's coming of age. <laughs> it's yeah. our sweet 16 here in the mall. Yeah, same, same, same. Well, the old there is 15. Well, and I at one point joked about how uh, Gigi, because Gigi said she didn't have one. And I was like, when you get your first place in LA that's like permanent, we should throw you. Whether it be like you get an apartment or something, <laughs> yeah. we'll make it that theme, and we'll just pretend you're 16 again. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, because I feel like this is just what we should do. <laughs> <laughs> like, great. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else? Oh, um, is there anything else that you. Oh, I know. I have a question. So, did you guys get a chance to come visit the Culture Shock set? Um, no, no. We, we Blumhouse were, Hulu, you should have flown the family out. Yeah, we're missing a PR opportunity. <laughs> like, have you not seen his Instagram yeah. stories? They're great. <laughs> <laughs> we received some pictures because Gigi was trying all the time to video a little bit, or we just follow the Instagram stuff all the time and new pictures, but you cannot share with anybody. Okay, so we saw a little things. But no, we. And then by editing, uh, we were close to her when she was being yeah, the first uh, yeah. director Scott. Uh, so um, we were very impressed with everything. But we we, we didn't see the finish. Uh, uh, probably not. We. It's gonna be a surprise. See it on the right. oh, yeah. no. No, but I'm, I'm assuming by now you're probably veterans at walking a red carpet. You've definitely attended. Gigi's Vancouver premieres. Yes. So LA is like the same thing, only a little bit bigger. Nice. Right? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> we are excited. <laughs> As you absolutely should be. Yeah. Now, something else I noticed, which I think is hilarious, is Gigi comes to shoot a movie in LA, and I see you all hanging out with all of her friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. all of the yes. Vancouver friends. And I'm like, Gigi, like literally, they're having the greatest time without you. Uh, and she, like, I always bug her and we joke about how you are now as close to her friends as she is. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you guys always been like the cool parents? But like, you're clearly cool parents now. Yeah. Well, we have to see, you probably always were. <laughs> we try, we try. Of course. But, uh, we we're always trying to be closer, you know, and, and to see what they're doing and we feel all of what they are living different and to meet all these guys. Well they're just calling us, Hey guys, what are you doing? They go so to you want to come and Mexican have a beer with parents. us? Of course. <laughs> we're the Mexican parents for a lot of guys in my And they have so. for us our our uh, gringo daughters and our gringo sons. I would like a position. Can I be one? Yeah. Sure. You are. I'm an, I'm an adult orphan, uh, which means I lost my parents like uh, about eight years ago when I was already a grown up. Uh, and I like to distinguish the difference because I think that there it's, it's so much more tragic. To, it sucks to lose parents anyways, but it's even worse, I think, if you're a child and you need to know them and love them and be raised by them. Um, so yes, I will take one of those So spots. now you can have it. Yeah, of course. Even a grandma. Oh my god, that's amazing. Because I, 
it's the, it's the, the grandma for a lot of them. Right? Get la abuelita de muchos en banco. Everybody yeah, knows no, me. Esta nena dice que ya la adoptó también a usted. I'm pretty sure they're just confirming the adoption details. Yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. just yeah. saying this is a win. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Los Angeles recognizes verbal contracts as legally binding. Yeah. 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 Just saying. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you guys so very much for joining me. I am so thrilled not only to have you guys here in LA supporting the Culture Shock premiere, but I'm so... I just love the fact that you guys are this wonderful, supportive, engaging family. And the fact that you guys are so loving and have raised this beautiful human being and continue to be, I think it's such an inspiration, not just for women in film, not just for independent film, but just for people. I know for me, I don't see enough of that. And it's so heartwarming and it just really brightens my day. So I really want to say a very big heartfelt thank you guys just for being you, for well, raising a wonderful daughter, and just for being great people. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks, Thanks to you too thank for you. so many uh, beautiful thoughts and beautiful words. My absolute pleasure. Uh, now, guys, you can. I'm going to link the Gigi Sal Guerrero interviews down below. Uh, I will also link the Culture Shock review that we have done please do check it out it has premiered already on july 4th on hulu um, like i said definitely watch it share your thoughts on it tweet it facebook it this is how we really help independent film by sharing the quality uh independent films that we love and i really think that you're going to enjoy it and i highly encourage you to check it out a few other notes just don't forget to hit the like button down below and also subscribe over here on screen queen stream i produce more indie and more genre content every week i try to do at least two videos and 10 billion bonus points if you enjoy the patreon thank you guys so very much for joining me and also uh, you definitely are active on Instagram <laughs> and are a riot. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we can ask her. Do you? Okay, I I'm did. not following you. I can And I will link it down below. Your Instagram. Instagram. Abu Bibis, I think, is the right. I'll share. Shopping, eating, mm -hmm. and all that. That's good for the grandmas. I <laughs> love that. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Thanks. Thanks to you. Thank you. Bye.